Face-to-face -face interactions are an everyday part of our lives. The slightest variation of a facial gesture, whether it be the blinking of the eyes, the raising of a brow, or something as simple as a smile, can completely change a social interaction. The advancement of animation technology has been extraordinary. Many modern video games and movies utilize 3D computer graphics to create realistic looking settings and characters which even mimic complex facial gestures. But can animation technology be used in such a way to make human interaction with the computer feel completely natural? Join us as we take a visit to the University of Auckland to talk with Mark Sager about his research on autonomous facial animation. At the Auckland Bioengineering Institute, Mark Sager and his team have been working on the development of artificial nervous systems. This will then be combined with realistic computer graphics to make autonomously automated biological models and facial simulators. Our approach to uh, building these interactive facial models is probably more holistic than previous approaches. So we are looking at really how the face responds as a system because people when they're interacting you really have to include the environment as well and the inner world that's actually driving their face. So we're modeling aspects of the neural control over the face, um, its expressive power and using quite detailed simulations of what's going on. So how can one build a more natural holistic model which incorporates the physiology of the face and the underlying biological foundations which drive the resulting facial expressions. Brain language is a modular system for creating neural system models. So it consists of modules and connectors and you can put these together in all kinds of different ways so that you can integrate neural network models uh, with sensors and with computer graphics all in tight integration and it enables us to create sort of individual neuron circuits as well as large complex neural networks and interconnect all these together. To bring together all these elements of autonomous facial animation, his team developed a virtual baby. So Baby X is, is about embodied cognition. It's about the fact that to, to build a brain model you have to interact with the world, so the, the system has to perturb the world to learn from the world. Okay, so here's Baby X, and this is, um, she's been learning to read words. So here's her first word book. So let's see what she can see. It's into her page, and here we go. Let's see what she, what's this, baby? What's this? What's this? What's this? Good girl. Now see if she knows what the word is. Okay, baby, look over here. Okay, what's this? What's this? Good girl. Nice. Baby X uses biologically plausible learning models including association, conditioning, and reinforcement learning resulting in a less robotic and much more natural human to computer interaction. She can kind of see us and hear us. So as I move around and she's looking, I can give her a, hear a loud noise. She'll get a fright. She'll respond to that. So. She, She's, we can zoom right in on her, you know, move the lighting and things like that around. We can see what she can actually see. So you can see here, she can see my face there. And so she'll respond to me, so, hey sweetheart, hey. And you see here what's happening is she's responding to me. So she's not kind of reacting, she's actually uh, responding. So I'm setting off her feel good circuits. And so Baby X uh, is a holistic model which tries to pull together many, many different elements of learning through interaction. Baby X is already being further developed beyond facial animation, and the Auckland Face Simulator is being used to develop other realistic avatars capable of real-time interaction. Learn more in this month's Communication of the ACM in the contributed article, Creating Connection with Autonomous Facial Animation. <laughs>